children. Now open your SLS workbook on page number 8. Today we are going to do worksheet number 3A, 3B, 3C, 3D and 3E. Let's quickly recap what subtraction is. Subtraction means taking one number away from another. Let's repeat it again. Taking one number away from another. Hello, Mr. Minus. Children, you must be aware of this sign. This is the sign of subtraction. This is worksheet 3A. This worksheet is very simple. On this worksheet, you are going to do double digit subtraction. All the sums in this worksheet are without converting tens. You only need to apply operation of subtraction. When one sum is subtracted from the other, the answer is called difference. Children, do you know how to solve these sums? Let me tell you. First, you have to solve the column of ones and then the column of tens. As this worksheet is very simple, children, you are going to solve all these sums on your own. Children, now let's do worksheet number 3B. In this worksheet, there are empty boxes with each sum. On the top boxes, you have to mention place values that are tens and ones. The boxes which are under the questions, you have to write the answers. Children, in this worksheet, you have to borrow to solve the sum. To solve this worksheet, you need to learn subtraction poem which will make these sums easy for you. Now let's learn the subtraction poem. More on top, no need to stop. More on top, no need to stop. More on the floor, go next door. More on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. Numbers the same, zero is the game. Numbers the same, zero is the game. Here is a question from worksheet number 3B for your practice. This is part A. In the top boxes, you will write place value that are tens and ones. After writing the place value, solve the sum. The question is, 32 minus 26. Now start from the column of 1s. 2 minus 6. Children, here we have smaller number on the top and bigger number 6 on the floor. Can we minus 6 from 2? No. So what should we do? We should go to next door and get 10 more. Take one ten from three tens and give it to two ones. Now three will become two, which is written in yellow color, and two will become twelve, which is also written in yellow color. Now you can minus six from twelve. So twelve minus six is equal to any guesses? Let's count on your fingers. After 6 till 12, count with me. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, how many boxes have you counted on your fingers? Yes, 6 boxes. So, 12 minus 6 is equal to 6, which is written in blue box. Now move to the column of tens. How many tens were left? Correct. Two tens. So two minus two. Any guesses? Children, do you remember the point? Numbers the same. Zero is the game. So two minus two is equal to zero, which is also written in blue box. This is how you'll solve all the sums in worksheet 3B by converting tens. 
Okay, children, this is worksheet 3C. All the sums in this worksheet will be solved by converting tens. The different thing in this worksheet is the table that is given on the left side. I'll tell you how you will fill this box. First, you will solve the sums and then you will write the answers in the correct boxes. Children, here are two sums from worksheet number 3C. And on the left side, there is the table that is given in the worksheet. Children, look at the big box carefully. You'll notice that some numbers are already written. The bigger numbers are written on the top from left to right in dark blue boxes. And smaller numbers are written from top to bottom on the left side in light blue boxes. What we have to do? is first we have to minus 9 from 30 then 33 and then 20. after that we have to minus 6 from 30 th 33 and 20 and then we have to minus 7 from 30 33 and 20. after solving each sum on the rough column you have to write the answer in the relative boxes so let's Solve first question. Start from column of ones. Three minus nine. Children, can we minus nine from three? No. So go next door and get ten more. Take one ten from three tens and give it to three ones. It will become thirteen. Now thirteen minus nine is equal to four. Move to the column of tens. How many tens were left? Two tens. Is there any number under it? No. So two will be written as it is. The answer of this question is 24, which is written in the yellow box. Now write the answer on the table after 21 on its correct place in the yellow box. Can you see number 24 on the big box? Yes, 33 minus 9 is equal to 24. Let's solve the other question. The question is 20 minus 9. Start from the column of 1s. 0 minus 9. Here again, bigger number 9 is on the floor. So go next door and get one tens from two tens and give it to zero ones it will become 10 now 10 minus 9 is equal to 1 move to the column of tens how many tens were left one ten is there any number under it no so one will be written as it is the answer is 11. Now write the answer 11 in the yellow box on the table after 24. Can you see 11 on the table? 20 minus 9 is 11. Children, this is how you will solve the rest of the sums and then you will write the answers in the relative boxes. Children, this is the filled table that is on worksheet 3C. After completing your worksheet, you can match your answers with this table. Now let's do worksheet number 3D. Before doing the worksheet, let's revise skip counting in 5s and 10s. Okay, children, now let's revise skip counting by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Here, we'll revise skip counting by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. 
children i hope you have done the previous worksheet correctly now let's move to the next worksheet worksheet number 3d in this worksheet you have to make 100 first part is already given and you have to find the other part by skip counting in fives or tens okay children now let's solve worksheet number 3d look at the first part that is 60 and dash is 100 the number 60 is ending at 0 so here you will skip count in tens children here i want to tell you that when you are skip counting in fives or tens you must count them on your fingers so that it is easy for you to count how many times you have skip counted in fives or tens now move to the first part again 60 and dash is 100 start counting in tens after 60 70 80 90 100 so how many tens you have counted on your fingers yes four tens and four tens means 40 so 60 and 40 is 100 now look at the second part it is 30 and dash is 100 the number 30 is ending at 0 so here again you will skip count in tens now start skip counting in tens after 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 so how many tens you have counted here yes seven tens and seven ten means 70 so 70 and 30 makes 100 now look at the third part it is 85 and dash is 100 first part 85 is ending at 5 so here you'll skip count in fives let's start with me skip counting in fives after 85 till 100 it is 90 95 and 100 how many fives you have counted on your fingers yes three fives and three fives are 15 so 85 and 15 is 100 now children the fourth part is five and dash is hundred children first part is only five so we have to skip count in fives here let's start with me 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 70 75 80 85 90 95 and 100 so how many fives you have counted on your fingers yes 19 fives so 19 fives are any yeses children i know you don't know the table of 19 for that you have to take the help of your parents to find the answer here i'll tell you 19 fives are 95 so the answer of the fourth part is 5 and 95 is 100 children this is how you'll solve the remaining worksheet by skip counting in fives and tens here comes the last worksheet for today worksheet 3e you have to do only question number one of this worksheet it is very easy in this worksheet there are four clouds having different numbers you are supposed to add 10 to these numbers first one is already solved for you here is the clear image of worksheet 3e in this worksheet we'll again skip count in tens remember an important thing that whenever we are skip counting in tens only the number written under the column of tens is changed for example look at the first one 37 plus 10 is 47 let's solve the other parts 68 plus 10 any guesses it is 78 next part 26 plus 10 it makes 36 now the last part 52 plus 10 52 plus 10 is equal to 
62. This is how you'll do the last worksheet. Children, this is all for today. I hope you have understood everything which I have explained here.